Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. As we come to this part of the service, Jesus, we ask that your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are grateful to you, Lord. We bless your name for everyone watching this service or that will watch this service hereafter. We ask that the name of Jesus will be glorified. We ask, oh God, in the name of the Lord, that your word will go express unhindered by any demonic or satanic force. I will not be misrepresented by powers of darkness. Your word will come with such accuracy, with such purity. In the name of Jesus, it will transform. An army will emerge out of this message. In the name of Jesus, hearts will be inspired. Ministries will open up. In the name of the Lord, Jesus above all will be glorified. We thank you, Father. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I started a series on Wednesday. I started a series on Wednesday, and I want you to put your heart to this series that we are embarking on. It's a series that it's a series that 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 speaks to you and to me. It's a is a series that encompasses every born again believer. Every born again believer, if you've given your life to Jesus Christ, if Jesus is your Lord and your sins have been washed by the precious blood of Jesus, you belong to this message. You belong to this group of people I'm talking about. Glory be to God. It's why. It's why. It's bigger than you know. They, they are everywhere. This group of people that I'm talking about, they are everywhere. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And that's the reason why this message, I wanted to take it to the heart. I started on Wednesday. What's the title of my message? Reclaiming the earth. Reclaiming the earth for the master. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Reclaiming the earth for the master. Say it again. Reclaiming the earth for the master. Say it one more time for emphasis. Reclaiming the earth for the master. You know, you know, I, 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 as I wrote it, you know, the Holy Spirit just nudged at me. He said, emphasize the master. The master is Jesus. The master, glory be to our master, our Lord, our master, the one who died on the cross of Calvary is Jesus. So in this program, we are reclaiming the earth. We are giving back to him. Hallelujah. We are bringing back to him what belongs to him. Hallelujah. We're bringing back to our heavenly father what belongs to him. You see, you know, I want to say this to everyone. That, 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 that every believer must strive to become a theologian. Did you hear me? Every believer should strive to become a theologian. Not just, don't just be a cursor, just, just, a, just, just a simple uh, read of the scripture. Because, you know, in these last days, in these last days, with oppositions, you have to be, you have to be steady. Every, every believer should strive to become a theologian. So when they push you from the right, you are standing. They push you from the back, you refuse to what? You refuse to back. Every believer must strive. Wait, you need, need to dig deep. What am I talking about? Oh, dig deep. Just, just dig deep. You know, no, get a library. Develop your library. Have concordance. Get theological books. And read. You see, just reading the Bible alone is not enough. I, I pass it in. Ah, oh yeah. Because there are some things that, you know, there are some things that were addressed to some people, specifically addressed to some people, you know, but, you know, they were addressed to Israel, uh, but, 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 but in general terms, it may be applicable to us. So we need to know things within their context, right? Within their context. How would you know this if you don't search? How you don't know this if you don't give time? You hear me? If you are just, you know, I just want to get by kind of a thing, you will not be able to be, you will not be able to be a healthy uh, 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 witness for the Lord. And I, and this message, God is sending us out to places that we have never, that we have never expected God to show up. God began to show me that I've always been represented everywhere. Joseph represented me before Pharaoh. Daniel represented me in the Babylon. He said, I need those people again. I need those people again. You, we can't just keep them. We can't just keep them 
in the church. Are you listening carefully? Jacob represented God. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. In the, you know, in the place of commerce. Right? He, re, he showed that he could command wealth. Supernatural and during wealth. You know, he could command wealth that, you know, that will make people, you know, there are companies today that everybody wants to buy their stocks. Right? If Jacob was, was alive at that time, people would want to buy his stocks. If Jacob was alive at this time, people were run as they are buying Amazon and all. They were because he had a technology that was working, that was commanding wealth. Right? He brought something out. He was so creative. And I believe God is calling for those sets of people once again. Hallelujah. Reclaiming the earth back to the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the first things I shared with us, one of the first things I shared with us, you know, Wednesday, you know, because, you know, I, I, you know, I shared with us, was from the book of uh, uh, Psalm, Psalm 24. Hallelujah. Psalm 24. I want you to, I want, you know, we're trying to establish uh, the reason why we're doing what we're doing. Because, you know, some of us don't want to go out there. The church is too small. The Lord told me this, and everybody hear me, and it shocked me. He said, he said, Wawa, you go to Wawa. I said, yes, sir. You go to Wawa to buy the gas. He said, Wawa doesn't need the gas. Wawa doesn't, they have the gas, but they don't need the gas. They have the gas so that you can come to Wawa and then get what? And then go buy the gas and then go. Don't, don't use up your gas in Wawa, right? Don't buy the gas and then run around around and put on your engine till you buy another one. No! I said, well, oh yeah. Yeah. You don't do that. I just make it. So that's the reason why. God, with this message, God is pushing us out. Somebody say, God is pushing us out. God is pushing us out. Hallelujah. God is a reclaiming. God wants to reclaim every territory. Every territory. Every territory belongs to God. Bible tells us in, 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 in Psalm 24, look at it. Psalm 24, verse number 1, everybody. Hallelujah. We're going to go very fast. Just, just for those of you who did not join us on Wednesday. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Look at it. Verse 1. The earth is the Lord's. Look at it. The earth is the Lord. Which means Lord puts, God owns the earth. Say so the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Now look at it. And the world. Right? The fullness thereof. Hello, everybody. Please hear me very well. You see, as a Bible student, we are, there are interpretations. As a Bible student, there are, you know, there are, Bible speaks to us. That's what we used to live our life. We interpret life. We interpret, you know, we interpret the earth through the word, through the word of God. That's how we interpret things. He said, the fullness thereof. When you hear the fullness thereof, what are you thinking about? The trees. The rivers. The gold. Right? Everything. Living. The fullness thereof. So what is he telling you? What is he telling you? God owns, owns everything. Oh yeah. And it goes further. It goes further to now. Portress is born. He said, the world. Right? The world. If you don't know. The world. And now it goes for the, and they, talking about human beings, and they that dwell therein, he said the Lord owns them. Question. So the Lord owns all the, Asia belongs to God. Is that true? Is the Arab world God's? Right? Some of us Christians don't believe that God, the Arab world belongs to God. We want them to go to hell. We are, they are destined for hell. No, the Arab world belongs to the master. They are, oh yeah, oh yeah. Some of us need to begin to change our orientation. Change our orientation. Even, 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 even commercially. Change our orientation. Some of us, we are restricted to just making business with some people. Hear me, hear me. There are people hearing me today that you are in the business world and God will connect you with an Arab. And by the time he does business with you, he looks at your life. And something, something catches. God will make something in you to catch his attention. And what is it about this man? Beyond this business. 
What is it about this man? There is something about this man that I, I seek. It's the nature of the power of God in your life. And he wants, and he asks you, he calls you, you know, the next day, as you are talking, as some, I, just, I just admire, admire your personality. What is it about you? It's now time for transformation. It's now time for reconciliation. It's now time. We thought that reconciliation only happens on the pulpit. No! Go and ask Daniel. After Daniel did what he did, you know, what he did, the devil can in essence, let everybody begin to serve the God of Daniel. But we have kept church, we have kept the power of God in a, in a vacuum. We have kept the church in a vacuum. God is bigger than your building. God is bigger than your building. Get with it, get with it. Quickly, God is bigger than your building. God is bigger. It's bigger than your nation. It's bigger. It's bigger than your theory. Hallelujah. Glory be. The Bible tells us, it says, once, yeah, it says, God, God, it says, it says, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. So, so what are we saying there? You know, that the earth belongs to God. You know, Romans chapter 8, I say, let me just run quickly. Romans chapter 8, verse 19, it said, uh, uh, it said that the earth, that what? That the earth, that, that the earth is waiting for the manifestation of what? Of the sons of God. The son, the earth is waiting, waiting for the what? For the manifestation of the sons of God. The sons of God. So the earth is beckoning. Hear me? Everywhere today, whether it is the solution to COVID-19 or the solution to racism, did I say racism? Did I say racism? Did I say racism? Yes. Yeah. Racism needs solution. It needs to be solved. Somebody needs to solve the riddle. This riddle. This wicked riddle. Somebody needs to stop it. Everybody can play mute about it. It's the big elephant in the room. And everybody's trying to just do as if it's not there. It's there. It's there. It is there. And when the sons of God come, when they marry, they, be, they, they come up with a kind of attitude, with a kind of nature that begins to transform. It has been said that in America, Sunday morning is the most segregated more part in a week. It's not a good witness. It's an indictment on the church. A Sunday morning is the most, and everybody goes there worshiping, worshiping. It's the most segregated. I read my Bible, you go to the end of the book in the book of Revelation, that before the throne of God there were tongues, there were nations. Some people will not want that kind of a picture, but that's the picture of God. That's the picture of God. Before the throne of God, there were tongues. Before the altar of God, they were talking. Some people don't, they don't like that picture, but that's the picture that we need to line up with. That's the picture. To give your theory, everybody will have to flow to the river of God. At the end of the day, we have to flow to Israel. Yeah. So if, 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 if the Lord says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, He's talking about us. The sons, hear me, the sons are waiting. They are waiting. I want everybody hearing me today to know that this scripture is putting a responsibility on you. The responsibility is not just on me as a, as, as a pastor. You know, I just occupy just a small position. You are a minister also. Every one of us. Yeah, every one of us. We are, we are, we are just disguised. You are in technology, you are just a disguised minister in technology. Using technology to reach uh, reach the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. So they are waiting for what? They are waiting. Look at it. There's an expectation. Talk about the problem. Is it in commerce? Problem in commerce? Problem in policing? Right? Oh yeah, talk about it. Talk about it. Problems in sports? For a long time, it was it was a taboo. It was a taboo that the person of an African descent will will be a quarterback, not because they can they cannot rise up to because of the heart of man. The heart of man is desperately wicked. The Bible says, "Who can know it?" 
But the, the scripture, the artist is waiting. They are waiting for some people to correct this, 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 uh, this. We are waiting. They are waiting. They are waiting for people who will, who will, who will, who will, who will stand down. Who will show the world the right way to live. I believe that this world needs, needs somebody to show them the right way to live. Oh yeah. No. The world is crying. Oh yeah. The world is crying and showing, asking. He said they are waiting for the, 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 the honest expression of creature, creature, which means you and I, we are the creature of God, waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. All right? Waited for the manifestation. They can't wait again. Hello, everybody. They can't wait again. They can't wait again. You see, this message is really tempting. They can't wait again. I was listening to something that was sent to me. Up until 1968 in America, there are laws tainted. 1948, 1968, 1968, I was five. 1968, I was five years old. There were laws that were put in the books of this nation. No, up until 1968, and we have professors, we have lawyers, great lawyers, we have scientists. We never saw it. Nobody saw it. Great reader, PhD, never saw. But you know, but this scripture is telling us that the great, the art is waiting, not for, not for engineers, not for scientists, but they are waiting for the souls. Oh yeah, people have degrees, but they have not solved. They have not solved this. They have not solved it because they have been bought. Some of them have been bought with money. Some of them have been bought with position. Oh yeah, they have been bought. They have been bought. We need people like Joseph who will not sell their soul. We need people like Joseph who will not like allow their appetite to their appetite to betray them. We need sons of God. We need sons of God. Sons of God. They are not there because they are looking for a position. They are not there, you know, because of the number of people who are going to clap for them. No, they are there to represent God. I'm preaching this message today that God will awaken sons. He will awaken them. The sons who will give this art back to God. Hear me? Hear me? Hear me? You may be one of those people who give up, but in, the, in my time of reading the scripture, I've never seen God give up. I've never seen God turn back. This art is going to be given back to God. This art is going to represent, it's going to take the image which God has in his mind. And there are people who are hearing me today, who, who are going to be part of those people, who will give the art back to God. They will give the art back to God. They will give commerce back to God. They will give the sports back to God. They will give family back to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You know, for those of you who, who did not join us at the uh, relationship seminar, on, on, uh, on, you know, we had a very important, it was a very good time. It was a very, very wonderful session. But there was a question that came up. There was a, uh, a statement. And the statement basically uh, uh, was that, uh, and uh, the statement was that, it was about, can I be a single and, and, and be, and be uh, is, is singleness, uh, uh, is singleness, Okay, yeah, absolutely. A singleness is okay. There is nothing wrong about you being a single. You are not less of a person. Did you hear me? Jesus did not marry. Paul did not marry. Right? Oh yeah, they didn't marry. But listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. Also, also, the scripture also tells you, I want you to know that you are single, you don't need to feel less of a person. Oh yeah. But guess what? If you marry, there's responsibility. Right. There's responsibility. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's just, your wife will call you, your children will call you, this will call you, that will call you, that. You know, you cannot just pick up and that's what's happening with some, some, you know, some of us. We married one who's still single. You are married? Oh yeah. I, I don't want anyone. No, you don't need to get married then. Yeah. <laughs> She can't tell me, she can't tell you, I'm coming up with her. I just want to go, I want to go and be with the boy, with the boys. Are you married to the boys? No, oh, it's true. It is true. That sometimes the truth is very hard and very difficult. Some of us, we spend time with the boys more than we spend with our wives, our husband. Ladies to do that. 
pick up the phone, you talk five hours with the, you know, with your friends, and then you know, your husband. He's a, he's, a, he's a nice guy, he's a cool guy, he doesn't mind. No, he minds. Why am I here? I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not deviated. Yeah. But there was another uh, question that came up. A statement that came up that, you know, that, that, that you hear me, that we glory, that, that we glory marriage, that we glorify marriage. That, why is it that the church glorifies marriage? Oh, yeah. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, the church, the, it is not the church that glorifies marriage. God. God said, hear me everybody and hear me very well. God said, Mary, marriage is what? Honorable. Honorable. The bed on the fire. The bed on the fire. Marriage is honorable. The bed on the fire. Listen. Oh yes. At the, at the first miracle of Jesus, it was at the marriage. And listen very carefully. When Paul was going to talk about the relationship between the church and the and the and the and, and the believer, he likened it to what to a relationship with marriage. So, so hear me. The world will not be the way it is without marriage. When God was going to bless his his his, his bless bless Abraham, he said, "I will bless you and your generation." Yeah, it's another level. It's another level. And you, anybody that is not married, need not to feel less of a person. Just because somebody has a Lamborghini, I don't need to go and bang my head on the wall. I don't have a Lamborghini. No! I just need to get what? I just need to get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be, be matured. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's the issue. Let me get back. Let me get back to the. Let me get back to my. Uh, so, in, 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 in. In, in my first point, there is this, there's a scripture in which Paul talks about. Please help me go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Because if we are going to reclaim the earth, we must know that there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a command. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Look at verse number 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Paul was writing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Knowing then, okay, uh, sorry, just a second. Seven reasons to five, as, uh, okay, let me just, okay, uh, okay. Um, yeah, sorry. I was opening to first. Okay. 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 Look at it. Uh, knowing therefore. All right. Okay. Knowing therefore that the terror of the Lord will persuade all men that we make manifest unto God. I trust you also make manifest your conscience. We commend you not to ourselves again, but unto you, but we give you occasion to glory on our behalf. That he may somehow answer them that glory in appearance. For them. Um, okay. Well, I think I missed the scripture about reconciliation. Mm. Mm. Okay. The ministry of reconciliation. Please let me pick up the what's that? What's that? I mean pick up the scripture that talked about the ministry of reconciliation. I missed it. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh look second Corinthians chapter five verse two. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I I found it. Okay. Let's go to let's go to verse verse number eight ten. And all things are of God who had reconciled us. Look at it. And all things are of God who had reconciled us, who had reconciled us unto himself by Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter chapter 5, verse 18. Thank you. Hallelujah. All things are of God who had reconciled us by himself, by himself, by Jesus. And has given us, everybody, I want you to know that. Look at it. And has given us the what? The ministry of of what of reconciliation he has given us which means 
the baton has been handed to us, right? All things are of God. Does that echo Psalm 27 verse 1? All things are of God who had reconciled us to himself, right? It tells us by who? By Jesus Christ, who had given us, right? Who had given us, look at it, the ministry of reconciliation. This ministry needs to be unpacked. How do we reconcile man? Needs to be, needs unpacking. Hello everybody, needs unpacking. How do we reconcile men on the earth? The men are found in various places. Men are found in various areas of life. How do we get to them? How do we engage them? If they are not here, how do we get to them? If they are in the palace, how do we get to them? If they are scientists, how do we get to them? If they are politicians, how do we get to them? If they are on the highway doing things that are contrary to the love of God, how do we get to them? If they are prodigals, like the prodigal son, how do we get them back? How do we get them back? You know the prodigal son came back? He came back because the father was waiting. He came back because the father was showing him love. He came back because the hands of the father was open to him. Oh yeah, the church needs to invest, needs to invest our mind on how to reach in people. Oh yeah, how to reach in people creatively. How to reach in people strategically. You know, there is this thing that has been coming to my mind, strategic leadership. Strategic leadership. Leading strategically. Leading with a purpose, leading with a you know, with a particular style. How we Bible says, look at it. Let me go to it that God in Christ. Look at it. God in Christ. God entered into Jesus Christ. Look at it. Reconciling. Right? Right? G God is entering into Jesus Christ. Right? Reconciling the world unto himself. Look at the same picture we must catch. That God will be on the inside of you. Right? Wherever you are. Right? Drawing people. God on the inside of you. Giving you words. Giving you, you know, giving you strategies. Right? Strategies. Strategies to bring in people back unto him. So, you know, this generation loves music. Everybody know Hillsong. One of the things about Hillsong is that Hillsong from Australia, they began with, with, with another style of worship. It was just out there. It was just buoyant. It was just, they sang. You know, they sang, they sang with skill. Those guys played, they, they played the instrument like somebody that had been practicing for five years. So when they get to the stage, they go, they, not only do they affect an average believer, but people who are outside, people who are not believers, heard the music and they were, and, you know, they were wicked. And you listen very carefully. And be, in fact, in, in fact, they won a lot of uh, 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 Oscars. Am I? Uh, is, okay, Grammys. They won a lot of Grammys. A church group, a church organization won Grammys. They won Grammys. Oh yeah, what are they doing? Reconcile. Now people in their corporate offices now are listening to the songs. And they are listening. And the more they, those songs empty into their mind, the more the nature of Jesus is being developed in them. The more they worship the God that that song is subjected to, the more the presence of God is what is coming upon them. Are you listening now? Now they are filtering to every part. They are now in education. Right? They are now in media. Name it. Right? Because they want the art to be reclaimed. There is a reclamation. There is a reclaiming program that is ongoing. And you must be part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, you must be. You can't be idle. You are part of the game. 
You're part of the game. You are part of the work. Oh, is it drama? Is it drama? Is that, what do you want to use drama for? What's one you use drama for? Go and ask Hollywood. Some of us are paying for all these movies. We're paying for it. You're paying for all these movies. Yeah. And some of a lot of the movies are fiction. Fiction. And then they go to the box office. The weekend, they make about they make about two billion. Two two million. Is it two two? Is it billion? Is it up to billion now? Or two million? Two million. One 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 house time. They just make I'm not even talking about I'm just talking about the power by which they are able to conquer so many. The box office is, is booming with people. God is saying, I need the people. They are mine. The earth is the Lord and the world and the fullness thereof. Glory be to God. We have, we have a better, we have a better drama to give them. We have a real drama to give them. Are you listening very carefully? Oh yeah, we want, we want to draw them back to him. Let's, let's, let's move on a little bit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's our responsibility. Let's look at it. Look at it, everybody. Verse 19, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, right? And had committed unto us. Are you there, everybody? And has committed unto us. You know, first he said the ministry of what? Reconciliation. And now he said the word of consolation. Reconciliation. The word. There's a word. There's a word. There's a word of reconciliation. It's a word to speak. It's a word to speak. There's a word to declare. It's a word of compassion. It's a word of hope. I thank God for Joel Austin. Oh yeah, some people are very angry with him. That he, you know, that he concentrates on, on, on those. Uh, his gospel is very, 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 very watered down. He's always speaking about hope. We are living in a hopeless world. What do you need? You need to give people hope. Yeah. And some of these people who, who, who batter him are supposedly Christian. They are fathers in the faith. And you, uh, 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 it's, just, it's just showing them that. No. You see, God, the first thing that God did was not to show us our hopelessness. The first thing that God expressed to us was to show us that he loved us. For God so loved the world that, uh, that, um, that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you hear that? Yeah. Oh yeah. What do we show the world? We give them hope. Oh yeah, there is hopelessness in this world. This year has defined it. There's hopelessness. Many are, are at the edge. Many want to break. Many businesses have gone down. Many big, big businesses have gone down. Many have lost their jo jobs globally. They need hope. They need hope. They need hope. And that word of hope is in your mouth. Is in my mouth. I you listen very carefully? Glory be to God. It's in my mouth. Look at it, everybody. He has given unto us the word of reconciliation. Now, verse 20, everybody. Now then, now then, now then, we are what? We are what? Ambassadors for Christ. Ambassadors for Christ. Ambassadors. What does that mean? What image does that give you? Image of somebody in an embassy. The one that sits, the one that acts on behalf of the home country is the ambassador. Right. You are the one that acts as the ambassador of Christ. Right. Oh yeah. Ambassador of Christ in commerce. Ambassador of Christ in sports. Ambassador of Christ in the family. Are you making me? The family must be preserved. Did you hear me? The family must be preserved. Because the family is the unit that gives back to every other thing. The family must be preserved. Ladies and gentlemen, the family, you see, when we begin to belittle families, belittle families, and uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You know I mean? We are weakening the society. Everything goes. We are weakening the society. And like, and like one of the ministers said, you know, I think the last Sunday, Sunday before, you know, God will not lower his standard. God will not lower his standard. We can, you can't weaken the family. If you weaken the family, you weaken the society. Oh yeah. 
Do you hear me? You weaken the society. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, We are now, we are now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us. Ha. Glory be. We pray you in Christ's stead. Be ye what? Look at it. Be ye what everybody? Be ye reconciled to God. Right. Be ye what? Reconciled to God. This is our message. Be ye reconciled to God. What is it? What? How do we reclaim the earth? By bringing people back to become intimate with God again. By bringing people who are far. Hallelujah. People who have been far. People who have, Bible says, those who are far. Glory be to God. I think it's the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh Lord, we thank you. Look at it. Everybody go to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. And verse 13, hallelujah, one of the things that happens, one of the first things that we do by reclaiming the earth back to God is intimacy. Everybody say intimacy. Intimacy. One of the things that reconciliation starts with is what? Intimacy. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot have intimacy without closeness. There is no intimacy without closeness. You can't be going away and say, I'm close. No. You cannot. God wants to bridge the gap. God is using you and I to bridge the gap. To close the gap between humanity hallelujah, and, 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 and God. Closing the gap. Close the gap. Close the gap. Use the love of God in your heart to close the gap. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. But now Christ Jesus... Look at it. But now in Christ Jesus, you look at it, everybody. Please look at it. Ye who sometimes were what? Far off. We who are what? Far off. Far off means we have been away. Away from God. Not minding the business of God. Not minding the principles of God. Not, not under the rulership of the God of heaven. We were far from God. Nations have been known to be far from God. Families have been known to be far from God. God told them in the book of, he said, sons of Belial. Yes. Sons of Belial. He called Eli. Your children are like Belial. They are acting away from God. They are acting contrary to the people. So want them to come back to God. If you don't want them, this is what's going to happen. And he, and he like, he like played, he played, he played, he played the emotional game. He called his God. Whatever he wants to do, he can do. You know, he is God. You know, he can't do anything. And so, and, and guess what? God is God. And he will do what he wants to do. Hopefully, Aphinas died in one day. When he heard about their death, he died. Three deaths. When God told, bring your children closer to me. I want to have mercy on them. And look at it. The Bible says, but now, Christ, in Christ, in Christ, in Christ Jesus. What Jesus does that when we are in Christ, we are, we, we are closer to God. We become so close to God. You feel the heart of God. You feel the ponderings of God. That's the reason why you show other people love. When you meet a real Christian, you feel the heart of God in them. The breath, you know, the breathing of God, you feel it. They have compassion on people. They love people like God loves people. Glory be to God. Oh yeah, they love people. They love people like God loves, love, loves his creation. Hallelujah. They bring people closer. They don't throw people away easily. Listen, I was watching something with my wife. I don't know how many people would do this. But in India, there's a lot of poor, poor, poor people. Poor people in India. I watched this movie and, and I watched this uh, video and it was this elderly man, very, very elderly. And, and these two guys just put their car by the roadside. The man, the man, they just caught him. I think he, he's, he's even had some, uh, maybe some psychiatric problem. They just caught and they began to rip his clothes off. Just by the time they caught, by the time they took off his shirts, what he was wearing on top, he wore close to about 20 shirts. 20 jacket and shirt. 20. I'm not joking. 20. You are ripping it. 
I thought, I thought they would get to the end. They were ripping. They were ripping. They were ripping. They were ripping. 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 And the man, the man, they held him. You know what was holding him? It's love. Only love make men do like that. Only love make men risk. Only love. It was during this COVID thing. They had their mask on their mask on their face. Oh, during COVID. Somebody will go and risk their life. Oh yeah, love will do it. Love will do it. And guess what? They ripped the thing. They took his, uh, they took his something out, and they they had uh, clothes, new clothes in their car. They shaved the man. They shaved his head. They shaved his head. The man was looking to change. He was looking to change. I believe that what they were doing to that man was bringing him closer. They were showing him love. Hallelujah. Look at it. But now in Christ Jesus, you are sometimes who are far off, have been made nigh, who have been brought close by the blood. By the death of Jesus, it brings us closer. It brings us to the place of intimacy. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the first things that will happen is intimacy. 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 You know when man sinned in the Garden of Eden, he started running. Yeah. He started running. He never ran from God. God asked him a question. Everybody listen to me. God asked him, he said, Adam, where are you? It was not a question that God was, ah, Adam, you are not. No, he wasn't lost in the hand of God. God knows where everybody is. He said, if I hide, take, uh, uh, take, my, take my bed in the air. He said, there will your hand find me. So he knew where he was. But guess what? You know, guess what? Because of sin, something broke. Where he was, he, the place of intimacy, relationship, closeness with God. You know, the voice of God, the voice of God that he used to hear and give him inspiration. Suddenly, he heard that voice and he was running. And some of you today, you may be running from God. Come back, come back, come back. The voice of God that you are hearing is a voice of compassion. God does not want to kill you. He doesn't hate you. He loves you. He died for you. He sent Jesus to you so that you might come back. You are made in him. You are made for him. You are made to glorify him. Come back. Come back. Come back to your father. Come back for an embrace with God. Come back. Glory be to God. Come back and your fear will dissipate. Your fear will dissipate. Your discouragement will go. Come back to God. Come back to your source. Come back to Him. Glory be to God. Look at verse 14. Hallelujah. Please go to verse 14. Glory. For He is our peace. Look at it. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. For He is our peace. Who had made both one. Look at it. And had broken down the middle wall of partition. Everybody heads up. Look at me. A, there was a middle wall of partition. There was a world that separated us when man sinned, when Adam sinned. A world came, but Jesus came to break down that wall. A wall was brought up, but Jesus came to break down that wall. Why will a wall of partition be broken down if there is, if God was not calling for intimacy? Why will a barrier be brought down if God was not desiring intimacy? Why will the wall be broken down? President, President Ronald Reagan said to Gorbachev, he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Wall that was separating East Germany from West Germany. They were supposed to be together, you know, but the wall was put there. He said, tear down this wall, tear down the wall. History record, it was, and the wall was torn down. Families who have been separated for decades because of wickedness. Let me speak to the heart of people in this nation. Racism separates us. Separates us. Race, racism separates the best of us. The best of us. The best of us separates us. Does not allow great things to happen. Let me ask my Christian friends. You are a Christian? And you hate people? Where do you think the people came from? Where did they come from? Huh? Where did they come from? They came from somewhere. 
One day, you and I are going to answer to God. We're going to answer to God. We are going to answer to God, the God of our flesh. It's a God of our, We are going to answer to him. And the deeds of our heart will answer to him. And when he judge, he will be justified when he judges. Yeah. The church must change. We must reflect the image of heaven. God wants people. Racism throws people away. Racism, segregation, throws people away. Yeah. People who operate in that realm are heartless. 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 Give it a spin. Give it whatever spin you want. If they are heartless. Oh, heartless. It's heartless. It's heartless. Yeah. God is the God of love. God is the God of, God is the God of embrace. He wants to embrace his children. He wants you to come back. Come back home. Come back. Oh yes. Your uniqueness, your difference is supposed to complement mine. Your difference, we're supposed to complement each other. Are you listening very careful? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pigmentation is what is disturbing you. Some of us are intelligent enough to know that pigmentation is just, is, is just pigmentation. Right? Right? Pigmentation. Pigmentation. If a white horse mates with a black horse, it's a horse. A horse. A horse. A horse. A horse. Right? And we are supposed to be the king. God wants to hear me. God. You see, when we get back to God in this issue of intimacy, then we begin to replicate it in our families, in our societies. You cannot get back to God and remain a racist. No, no, no. No. You leave everything. Leave everything. You leave everything. And then take on the image of God. And then go and replicate that image. In families, in the society, at your work, your bank manager. You're a police officer. You sit in the commerce. You deal with everybody accordingly. According to the dictates and the love of God in your heart. You deal with everybody. Because you have met with God. You've rubbed your mind with God. God has shed. Listen to me. You can't feel the love of God and not give it. The day you feel the love of God, you give it. 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 You give the love. 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 I never knew I was of another color until I came to America. I never knew that. I never knew that. I want to be very. Yeah, I never knew that. I never knew that. I never knew that. We need to change. We need to change. God is calling us. God is calling us. The society must not. I'm not preaching to a church. I'm preaching to uh, the society must not be disjointed. The society must not be disjointed. Our society must not be disjointed. We are disjointed. The society must be brought back. Brought back. Brought back. Look at your heart and tell yourself, is this right? Ask God to help you in your heart. You know, some are not deliberately acting out as, as, as a racist or no, but they have been they have been immersed into it. You need to ask God, take this thing away from me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. They, Moses, Moses stayed in the palace of Pharaoh and knew that guess what? The palace is beautiful. But guess what? This what is happening to my people is wrong. I rather suffer affliction. Affliction with the people that enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. I rather suffer affliction than enjoy the pleasure of sin. I won't enjoy it bad. No, don't take it. Don't take it. You all know you don't give to that. Don't give it to me. No, no, don't give it to me. Don't give it to me. 
God is calling the earth back to himself. He's calling us back. Hallelujah. He's calling us back. Everybody is calling us back to intimacy. Intimacy with God. Intimacy. If this earth will be given back, men need to come closer to God. Hallelujah. Come back to God. Come back. I just feel that we need to pray now. I feel we just need to pray. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Please, can I just please something? Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Begin to reach out to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to Come closer to the Father. Glory be to God. I want to be where <coughs> dwelling in your presence. <coughs> oh, yeah. Fishing at your table. Surrounded by your glory. In your presence. That's where I always want to be. I, I just want to be. I just want to be here with you. Come on, say Everybody, I am dwelling daily in your presence. Take me, take me to the place where you are. I, I just want to be. Thank you, Lord. 